Hello guys, welcome back to another episode of Hearthstone. So, we are going back into Standard today, and we have a new mission to get a Mage or a Shaman victory, which we are going to uh, try and grab right away. I know we talked about doing uh, some Arena soon, and I will get started on that tomorrow. However, for today, uh, I figured since we had some undone missions, uh, it'd be easier to just jump in since we've already been playing with this deck and having a pretty darn good time. So... Uh, without further ado, let's uh, see if we can't get a match going here and bring in another two wins like last time. That was uh, pretty fun. Like I said, I really do enjoy mage decks just because the control is there, and uh, I feel like they're the most... I don't want to say the most strategic, but they require the most like thought about how to play a single card, in my opinion. Them or maybe rogues. Uh, just because rogues also tend to sit on really big combos and stuff. Um, I think we, against a rogue, I think we throw that. I think it's worth just having some creatures to start out. Wow, three creatures. Well, that's not really worth it. Uh, I hope we draw a spell. Yes, okay, cool. Um, let's just throw it on our mana worm and turn. Say hello to this guy. Hello. And start destroying the map. The pleasure is mine. Yes. Coconuts down. Aha. Alright, this map has been totaled. Alright, so he's got nothing huge here. We're just going to drop this guy. Um, arcane missiles would be kind of a waste if he doesn't have any creatures in play. Uh, <clears throat> as much as I'd like to buff my mana worm right away. Since this is our only control spell, I would like to hold on to it for a bit. Plus, now we can ping for two with our fire blast. It's unlikely he can kill this right away. Well, at two mana anyways. Death Rattle, add a random class card to your hand from your opponent's class. Hmm, well, it's gonna die sooner or later. Might as well, uh... Do I want to just Fire Blast it? Yeah. And then we'll just hit him for four. We're just gonna take this game slow here. Uh, try and get... Keep, maintain this board advantage as long as we can and get some damage done, because rogues don't have a ton of, way to, ton of ways excuse me, to restore health. So ideally, we can just get him down as low as possible before he's able to take back control with his own uh, control cards. Uh, okay, so he's got that guy. I don't want to really burn a polymorph here, so let's um, let's use this arcane missiles now and get our buff to our mana worm. Perfect. Oh, ideal. Now we can ping this for two, which kills it before it can even do anything, and we'll go ahead and hit him for five now. So this is uh, this is actually very good open with this deck. Uh, <clears throat> this deck can be quite deadly if you get the right cards right off the bat just because you can shut people down pretty hard. Um, unfortunately, we no longer have our arcane missiles and he's taken that away from us, but we do have an arcane intellect which could pull a frost bolt, which then we could kill this this turn. Please? No. Okay, um, we could still kill this, but we'd lose our mana worm. Um, Let's let him kill our mana worm and bring him down to half health. Because that's going to smart pretty badly, and you know he wants to make this trade. Unless he has, uh, like, an assassinate or something he wants to burn. No, I didn't think so. And I'm just fine with that. Uh, now he's going to be getting a little more board control, though. Casts a random... What did he... Oh, are you kidding me? Oh, good. I thought it was a heal. Oh, <laughs> yeah, no mana left. That's rough. Um, he's got a 5-4. Let's drop a 5-5, five five, draw a card. Who knows? Or sorry, a 4-4, four, four, draw a card. Ah, I was hoping maybe an Arcane Missiles, because if the uh, RNG gods were with us, we might have been able to ping this off because of the spell power plus one, or spell damage plus one, rather. Nope, he's going to make that trade, which is just fine with me. That was the idea. If you can't use a kill card, play a creature they have to trade for. Battle, battle Cry and Death Rattle? Neat. I've not seen a Toxin card before. I wonder uh, how exactly they work. Um, we can mirror image here to stall. We can fireball. Uh, I don't think we want a fireball. We could drop this guy for five mana. We could get all that. Take. We could uh, ping him for one and draw a card. We could waste a sheep on this, which seems extreme. Um, I think we... Uh, do we want to just ping this? But then we will have no way to kill this if we do it that way. But we don't have to necessarily because we have mirror image. Okay, so... Who knows, maybe we'll get a Frostbolt. Come on, Frostbolt. Ah, another Polymorph. Well, we can hold him off for a turn at least. 
presuming he does not have any kind of AoE. I don't think rogues really have AoE except for Fan of Knives, though, so unless he's got a spell power, uh, he's just going to have to probably use his Toxin card to kill one of these and then this guy to kill the other. Oh, or just a Twilight Elder. You know, it's funny, these Cthune decks we've been playing against haven't been too bad, but maybe that's just because we are playing Control, which lets you shut it down pretty hard. Because seriously, a lot of these creatures are just pretty good in their own right. Uh, I could really use some AoE right now, but um, let's try and get a little more draw going. Ah, uh, Defender of Argus. Well, actually, well, four. Gosh darn it. Um, how do we want to do this? Well, we can make a trade and draw another card, which is probably not a terrible idea, but we've already blown our ping. So, hmm, but this guy's still alive till next turn. This is tough, you guys. I think, um, I think we do this trade and hope we get an arcane missiles. Mana worm. Gosh. Can't get a break here. Well, we can drop a mana worm, uh, but he'll get killed right away. We could acolyte again just because he's a decent card and then deal one damage to all enemies. Oh, cool. Okay, so we'll drop this guy and kill off his stupid thing and he can have his own dumb toxin card. Uh, and then we'll also drop another acolyte of pain. And we'll go ahead and end our turn. Now we have a little bit more board control again, although I do worry a bit with um, rogues, especially when they have weapons out just because of, um, oh, what is it? Uh, they have an ability where they destroy their weapon and deal damage equal to its power to everybody. Blade dance or something like that. What is this? Choose a friendly minion and put a 1-1 one -one copy. Add a 1-1 one -one copy to your hand that costs one. What? Interesting. But now he has two brands, that's interesting as well. Uh, I could really use a flame strike here, but at least we finally got this frost bolt I don't need anymore. Um, I don't really want a polymorph or brand, because they're pretty small. I think one, two, so let's do a water elemental. We'll frost bolt this guy just to kill him, because he's buffing that Cthune. No, we can make this trade. Do we want to kill Bran this turn? Okay, so we're going to go Water Elemental. And then we will also Defender of Argus. Then we will make... Oh, that's a bad trade. But I just I need to clear some stuff off this board. And then we'll drop a Mana Worm because it's unlikely he'll clear through this 4-7. At least we can slow him down a bit, especially with the Freeze ability. The Feast of Souls. Oh! Great. I could use that guy for my Cthune deck. Wait, what? Why'd he get two? What? I don't... Uh, great, whatever. Oh, because of his copy ability, maybe? Ugh. How frustrating. Well, there goes the neighborhood. Uh, <clears throat> I think... Jeez, do we double sheep into arcane missiles and just hope he doesn't get a Cthune later on? Or no, we could fireball, fireball, and then ping Bran and trade, and then he'll only have a 4-6. Uh, at least we're not totally down and out. We still have a pretty good life advantage here. Oh, taunt, taunt, taunt. We'll ping Bran for now, and then uh, I don't want to just lose this guy, so we're going to end our turn. At least now his Bran can't trade with this guy. But this is not ideal. That uh, that legendary really kind of screwed us here. If he pulls a Cthune now, we don't... Re well, 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 at least we'll still have a sheep, but we're going to take a lot of damage. Hmm. Okay, Sprint is an interesting card. I'm not really sure if, like, how amazing, good or bad it is. Just because it seems like uh, it's so much mana to draw four. It's like seven is a lot, but it's so good end game because you really recover a lot from. Oh wow, you recover really well. Um, hmm. Let's. Uh, wow. Arcane missiles and hope for good RNG, I guess. Or we could frostbolt this first and then arcane missiles. I think is a better play. Frostbolt. Come on. Yes, yes, okay. But we can't deal two damage now. Let's try drawing two cards. Ah, that would have been nice. But now we can Frostbolt this guy. 
And we'll just go ahead and ping the rogue. Now we've cleared the board of all of his legendaries for now. Hopefully he doesn't just play Cthune this turn. Although when he does, I think it's only a 12-12, or maybe it's a 14-14. Whoa, how many of those guys does he have? I thought he only put one of those, one copy of those in his hand. Oh boy. Man, that is a good combo. Ugh, it's really frustrating. Really frustrating, you guys. Um, Flame Strike, deal four damage to all enemy minions, but I can't actually uh, kill them all if I do that. What I could do is I could sheep this. Make it a 1-1, one, one, and then drop a Maiden to the lake, and then ping. Let's do that. Boom. 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 We're still in it, y'all. Still in it. Never give up. Never say die. Never think Cthune's name, because if he gets him, we're still boned. Do you hear its call? Man. Oh, or at least he didn't get the value out of that. He knows it's a race now, but he's done because I'm about to uh, flame strike. That's fine with me, guy. I'm clearing your board. Just have to keep hoping you don't get Cthulhu. Please no Cthulhu. Please no Cthulhu. Please no Cthulhu. No Although even if he does, we'll have one turn left. But then he can stab us the turn after that. Hmm. Is he gonna play two cards? Oh, okay. Hmm. Interesting. Well, the good news is if he... Well, he's gotta get Cthulhu in the next turn or so. He probably has him now because he's down to five cards and just statistics. And I'm down to four, actually. Um, I think we want to just try and get as much board presence as we can here. So I think first is a Drake, see if we can draw something super helpful. That's not bad. Uh, let's Fallen Hero and then... We will ping for two because that's a lot of damage. However, if he Cthulhu's here and then hits us, that's game. We didn't have any taunt left, and there's not really a whole lot we can do about it, unfortunately. I have a pretty good feeling that that's exactly what's coming. No? Wow. Oh, that's a cool card. I want that guy. All right, he clears our board again. And we've already burned through both of our fireballs, so we are not in the greatest shape here. Uh, let's see. We just play as much as we possibly can. And just keep pinging away at him. Uh, we have no damaging spells left. We've used both uh, both of our arcane missiles, I believe. Definitely both of our frost bolts and both of our fireballs. So, hmm. Maybe I should have taken a little bit more damage to the face. Unless he somehow improbably has still not drawn Cthulhu, which is incredible. He... That is really unlikely. Like, that is seriously not what I expected. I wish this did damage to the mage, too. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, that's kind of a waste, but I guess he's pretty desperate right now to keep me as dead as possible. I wish I'd played my effigy. Oh, no, it would have given me a zero mana card, actually, so maybe not. <laughs> Alright, so I have a taunt for one more turn. And... I think we play our other flame strike now. Flame strike effigy. Get another zero mana creature. Uh, no, we'll flame strike and then ping. Because dam some damage is better than none. However, I mean, if that's not Cthulhu, then his la it, he's <laughs> It's gotta be Cthulhu, and that'll kill me. Oh my god, is he toying with me at this point? Because I'm like. I mean, he's gonna. The, the turn Cthulhu comes into play, we're dead. We, we, there's no way we can absorb nine damage. Six, seven, eight, nine. We can barely absorb nine damage. And this is our last card. Uh, four, four. We can't even afford to play much more than this. And we don't have taunt. Um, statistics say he wins here. Because this is... Okay, 50-50 chance he doesn't get Cthulhu. Cthulhu? <laughs> Did he really not get Cthulhu? <laughs> He must not have. Why didn't he play it yet? He's like raging. No. Is that Cthulhu? Come on. He doesn't have him. That is statistically unlikely. Uh, that does not kill him. Oh, but then he'll attack him directly. Well, then you still take three damage, dude. 
This is very close. He's at four. And I take this fine. Um, oh, I don't think I can win here. <gasps> yes, I can. Yes, I can. Well you guys, we that's why you play all the way to the end. Three damage, four damage. Hooray! Wow, I really didn't think we had that game. <laughs> all right, that's one of our two wins checked off the list. Uh, hooray. I'm very, very happy about that. I didn't think we had any chance there. So, awesome. I will be right back. Hello, guys. Welcome back to, uh, another part of this episode of Hearthstone. So, we're gonna jump right back in, try and get one more mage victory, get our quest done, get a little bit of gold, and, uh, keep this cheery win streak we've got going, going as long as possible. This is why I love my mage. I really, really didn't think we could hold out there, and I myself forgot that we had uh, our Defender of Argus still waiting to come out. That buff made all the difference. That was the last card in the entire deck, you guys. Like, <laughs> that was that was nice. I'm pretty proud of that game. He had His last card had to have been C'Thun. Okay, so we don't need this. We don't need this. We don't need this. Not for our opening hand. We want as many low mana cards as possible. Okay. Uh, we're just gonna have a nice chill open. Hello. But he doesn't know that we're actually throwing cannonballs at him. Okay, he's got a speed open. I hope this isn't another Cthulhu deck. Um, I don't want to lay these spells right away. I could coin to draw. Um, but then what would I do next turn? Let's just ping him. Druids can be a bit problematic for a mage because they have a lot of staying power. They're still better. I prefer fighting them to a priest still, but they do have a good amount of healing and they have their ability that gives them armor, which they can hit us for as much as we hit them for, plus they get to keep one armor, which is kind of obnoxious. It almost kind of nullifies this as a pinger against them. Not, not fully, but to some extent. All right, we'll lay our golden arcane intellect here. And call it a turn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we can have one more card in our hand, no worries. <clears throat> Just hopefully he doesn't play anything that lets us draw cards. And then I think next turn we will want to drop... See, yeah, we kept him from being able to kill off our first creature, because now we can drop a fallen hero and ping his creature, I guess, for two? Because, yeah, well... Yeah, I guess. Maybe we'll draw a Mana Worm next turn, and then we can Mana Worm, Fallen Hero, and Arcane Missiles. Come on. Ah, okay. So we're still going to Fallen Hero, because I like that play. And then we'll just kill off his dumb 2-1, even though technically we're doing a little bit of overkill damage there. I just don't want him to trade a 2-1 for a 3-2, especially with this awesome ability. Love this card. Love combining this card with uh, my Maiden as well for a one mana to two damage card. And I think this stacks too. I think this can deal up to three damage if I have both of them. Wow, he's already got, wow, he, how does he have seven mana? Did I miss something? I missed something. Uh, wow. Well, you guys, apparently I wasn't paying close enough attention because somehow he has seven GD mana. What the hell? Uh, all right. Um, or maybe it's just the way the turns are going, and I'm just. It seems like he's further ahead in mana than he is. Uh, let's do another fallen hero, or hmm, we could fallen hero, arcane missiles, and then ping it and probably kill it. Uh, in fact, it'd be even better to ping it and then arcane missiles, just so it doesn't waste any. Come on, fifty-fifty. Yeah. All right. So, Control wins once again. I wouldn't mind being able to lay my Azure Drake, though. This guy is basically playing a better version of the deck that we played for our, we play for our Cthune deck. Well, I assume better. Mostly because he's already at 8 mana somehow, which I don't think I've managed. Oh, you killed my guy. Why? Why you do this? Alright. That was kind of a waste, but he must be going for some kind of rush build here. We're at six mana, up to seven. He's got a 
pair of two twos. I'm hesitant to waste anything. I could flame strike, but I'd rather not, even though I have both in my hand. I could lay a water elemental, but I wouldn't be able to buff it yet, which I'd really like to do in one turn. Um, but what are you going to do? Beggars can't be choosers. Let's just throw this down, and we will... Do we want to just ping him for one? Or we could frostbolt him. Or we could frostbolt one of his minions. I say we just ping him for one for now. I like having as many cards as possible in our hand because I'm really hoping he'll lay like another three creatures and then we can flame strike and actually get some. Yeah, see, that was worth it. We'll still be able to clear it. The land serves me. I've seen that card before. It's pretty cool. That must be what he played earlier. That gave him the bonus mana crystal earlier. That is really cool, actually. Dang. Well, board clear clock. Boom. How you like me now? And we'll freeze him so he can't attack us next turn. That's a pretty stark response there. Now he's down to four cards. We have like nine. I'm going to try and lay an Azur Drake as soon as po Or sorry, a uh, Defender of Argus as soon as possible to buff this guy up so uh, he becomes a super annoying wall. Or, I'm sorry, this isn't magic. He becomes a super annoying... Uh, tank taunt uh wow so he used this guy before the cocoon was a uh, 10 10 that's interesting i think we want to let's see mana worm azure drake and then we could frost bolt this guy no yeah we could azure drake coin defender of argus no let's not do that let's we could mana worm coin we'd have back up to eight mana Flame strike? We could no. I think the smart play is to let him burn out as many creatures as he wants on our guys uh, as efficiently as we can get it. So let's just do Azur Drake. Um coin, sorry, mana worm, I know. Uh, and then Defender of Argus so that he's got some fairly stark competition to deal with. Um and and we'll just go for the face. <clears throat> Hopefully he doesn't have a ton of healing in here since this is a Cthulhu-centric deck. Although, since these decks tend to run longer in games, who knows. Hard to say when he can get 10 mana, like turn 6. And there's Cthulhu, but only a 9-9. He must have the res part because, well, that's just not a great time to play Cthulhu. However, we can still polymorph him and then... Gosh, we could polymorph him into Flame Strike, I guess, or we don't even need to. Will he trade his dude here? He's gonna go like that and then like that, right? No, he just ended his turn. Hmm, not what I would have done. So, this is actually, this Flame Strike's actually gonna hit for five. Yeah, sorry, dude. Um, so, I can hit for five. Hit, that'll clear these two, and then I won't have enough then to f hit for five, and then I can freeze it. That's what I'll do. We'll flame strike. Oh, we don't even need to freeze it. We can flame strike, and then we'll make that trade, which I don't regret. And then attack him and ping him, so we can hold on to as much as our hand of, of our hand, excuse me, as possible. So now his Cthulhu's dead. He's frozen. Life totals are tied. We have a massive card advantage in terms of our hand, and we have a one creature board advantage. Oh man, that is really cool. Um, what is it? It's a 4 6, but it's probably useless. Um, we will go for his face, I think, 4 damage, so I think we can deal 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 13, 14, 15, 16, and he's at 19. Bummer, we can't quite kill him off. Let's polymorph this thing. And then uh, we'll ping it. And then we'll throw down an Acolyte of Pain. And we'll hit him for four. And we win next turn. I highly doubt he's got anything that can beat out the polymorph, so. Control prevails once again. Hopefully I don't jinx it. Let's throw a lucky boulder at this guy. Ah, uh, no dice. Sorry, guy. Yep, that's game. Will he let me get the killing blow? 
Oh, well, he doesn't probably know I have lethal. Um, so, six, four, one, three, three. That dude's just like, oh, it's a lot of spells. <laughs> All right, there's our two mage wins for the day. Um, we are going to get our mission complete, and uh, hopefully tomorrow we can spend some of this hard-earned gold on our first arena run. That should be a lot of fun. Um, until then, thanks a lot for watching, you guys. If you enjoyed what you saw, please be sure to like and subscribe. Um, tell anybody who else you know who might be interested. And uh, as always, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time.